Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCAC Information and Communication Technology Paper 3 for May June 2022. This is variant 3.1. You have been supplied with the following source files. These are the source files. We need to create an evidence document. So open Word document. And we need to make sure the name, center number and candidate number will appear on every page and it should be saved as J2231 evidence followed by your center number and candidate number. So open a blank document. Insert header. Give your name, center number and candidate number and it should be saved as J2231 evidence in your folder followed by your center number and candidate number. Next, image editing and file management. Create a new folder called J2231. So inside your working folder, create a new folder, new folder, and the name should be J2231. Locate the following files and store them in your J2231 folder. So all these files should be stored into the folder which we created. So let's select the files. So move all these files into this folder. So we have nine files in the folder. Open the file j31 balloon.jpg in a graphics package. I'm using Photoshop here to edit the image. So open the image. balloon rotate it 90 degree clockwise so go to image image rotation 90 degree clockwise reflect it horizontally Again on image, image rotation, flip canvas horizontal. Save this new image in your folder in PNG format using the name balloon followed by your candidate number. So you need to export this image file, export, export as PNG format and the name is balloon followed by your candidate number. So select PNG format, export, the name is balloon followed by your candidate number. So it's done, you can close. Display the contents of your J2231 folder showing all these details. So this is your folder. Right click, view, content. When you go for the content view, you can see all the details like image dimension, video frame, video frame height, frame width, all the details will be shown here. So you can take a screenshot with the folder name. 
and that is your evidence 1. Next we need to create a web page. Create in your folder a web page called tbs.htm. So I am using Microsoft Expression Web. Open a new HTML page. If it's not visible here, you can go to File, New, HTML. First save it. Save as. Inside your folder, inside J2231 folder. The name is TBS. Save. This web page must be created using a single table and must work in all browsers. The width of the table is 90%. Now we have 5 rows and 3 columns. So go to table, insert table, 5 rows and 3 columns. The width must be 90% as given in the question. So we got the table. Now we need to merge the cells as shown. So in the last column, all the cells are merged here. So select this, modify, merge cells and here these two are merged. Here also it's merged. And then the last row, these two cells are merged. Let's give the letters in the cells so that we can identify easily. Now let's set the cell width and height as given. For cell A, the width is 70%. So right click, cell properties, width is 70%. Make sure it is percent. Give OK. C is also 70. For D, the height is 10%. For C, only the height we have to specify 10%. For E and F, it is 35. So select E and F. Cell properties, the width is 35. Here the height is 10. And for cell B, the width is 30%. So right click, cell properties, the width is 30%. So the table is ready. You can check the code, all the percentages are given, width and height are given properly. Cell contents in the diagram must not appear. So these letters should not be shown when you show the web page and table borders must appear. Next set the title of the web page to Tavara Balloon Safaris. So right click page properties. You can see title here. Place the title Tavara Balloon Safaris. Give OK. 
set in the HTML the name of the default target window to new. So again, right click page properties. You can see default target frame. Click on the edit button and it should be new. So you can select new window so that blank will be shown. You have to rename it as new. Give OK. So if you check the code, you can see the title and the default target window. Next place in cell A, the image J31 banner.jpg. So in cell A, insert picture from file. In your folder, J31 banner you have to insert. The alternate text you can set here. Banner image. In cell B you have to insert the balloon image saved in step 1. It's better to go to the code to insert the image. So go to the code. You can see cell B here. Remove the letter B. Now insert picture. The balloon which we saved. This is the image. So insert. Balloon image. In cell C, a video tag to display j31 balloon.mp4 so that it fits the width of the cell. Display an automated text based error message if the browser does not support this video. So in cell C, so remove the letter C. Now press enter so that we can enter the video code here. So first add the video tag. Once you add the video tag, its closing tag is generated automatically. You can set. Now in between the video and slash video, we have to set the source tag. Source tag is set to give the location of the image file. So source tag src equal to, we have to type the name of the video j31 balloon.mp4. So J31 balloon dot mp4. Also we need to set the type of the video. So type equal to video and it's an mp4 file. So slash mp4. Now you can close the source tag and the error message should be given inside this. So you can write the error message, your browser does not support this video type. And we have to make sure the video fits within the width of the cell. So the width should be 100%. So in video tag, you have to set the width, width equal to hundred percent. Also we need to add the keyword controls to show the control buttons like stop, full screen, volume etc on the web page otherwise it will be shown just as a image. So you have to add controls. Here. So this is the code for video. Next in cell E the image serengeti.jpg. So in cell E, remove the letter E, go to insert image, give the alternate text. In cell F, masai.jpg. So remove the cell 
letter F and then insert, go to insert, picture, Maasai, in alternate text you can give Maasai, ok, place inline style attributes into the HTML so that each image with its aspect ratio maintained fits with the width of the table set. That means each image should take 100% of the table set. So we have to set the inline style for all images. So we have inserted three images here, four images. First one is banner. So to set the inline style, remove the height and width if shown. If it is shown, just remove the height and width and you need to give the inline style. Inline style is style equal to width 100%. So this is how we give the inline style. So select this, you can copy the code so that it can be applied to all the images. Now we have the balloon image here. For balloon image also, you need to give the same inline style. Now the last next image, this, this one, so here paste the code again. So the inline styles are given for each image. Add appropriate alternate text to all still images. We have already given the alternate text when we were inserting the image. Now place in cell D the text from the file j31 text.txt. So j31 text.txt, copy the text. It should be in cell D. So you can remove cell D. Remove the letter D and paste it. Now you need to set this as style H2. So select this one, we have to set it as H2. The style panel is not active, just go back to design and then come back to code. It will be active here. It should be H2. So the style H2 is set. Enter in cell G the text. Click on the images above to enjoy wonders of Kenya and Tanzania. So remove this letter from here. So this is the text. This has to be set as style H3. Here we have to display the text as two paragraphs. So make sure the styles are applied separately. So we have to give H2 here. Next we have to type web page last edited by followed by a space and then your center number candidate number. So below this web page last edited by then you can give your name, center number and candidate number. Now select this and set it as H2. So you can see both of them are shown as two paragraphs. Uh, sorry, it should be H3. The style is H3. H3. Create a hyperlink from the image j 31 masaijpg to open the web page kenya.htm. So this is the image Masai. Click on that. Right click on the image. Go to hyperlink. It should open Kenya. So select 
J31 Kenya. So select Kenya and give OK. Next, create a hyperlink from Serengeti to open the web page Tanzania in the browser window that is currently in use. So select the image, right click, hyperlink, Tanzania in the same window or the current window. So go to target frame, give same frame, give OK and then OK. Rename the style sheet J31 style sheet to J31 style sheet followed by your center number and candidate number. So this is the style sheet. We need to rename it. So right click, rename, style sheet followed by your center number and candidate number. Attach this style sheet to your web page. So go to attach style sheet, browse. This is the style sheet which we have renamed now. So the style sheet is attached. Next. A trainee has attempted to create the style sheet. The style sheet contains a number of errors. Open and edit the style sheet you saved in step 12 to meet the following specifications. So open the style sheet. This is the style sheet. Open. So you can see this code is not correct. And also the comment is not correct. So let's move this. We can remove this later we will add the comment now let's create the styles according as given here set the background for the web page so that it has a color the color components are shown here so go to new style for the background it is applicable to the body style so choose the selector as the body now select background background color the color will start with it will start with hash as it is a hexadecimal color code and you can see the color codes are given blue red green the order is rgb which is red green blue so first you need to enter the red component then green and then blue so it is 74abd2 so the color code will start with a hash and then you need to write the code in the order of RGB, red component, green and blue. So it will be 74 AB and D2. Give OK. So this is the code for background color. Next, set the phone for styles H1, H2 and H3 so that the browser selects and displays the phone times CY if it's not available times new roman and if neither of these are available it should display the default serif font so the first option is times cy if it's not available times new roman otherwise the serif font so we need to give this in order separated by comma so go to new style you can select the styles so three styles are there so you need to write it separated by comma h1 h2 and h3 so the phone family, the first font is times CY, if it's not available, times New Roman, so type times New Roman, otherwise the default serif font, so type serif there. Also set the text in styles H1, H2, H3 to black. So you can go to color and select black automatically hexa 
code will be shown here. Now give OK. So this is the style for H1, H2, H3. Next set style H1 so that the text is central line with a 16 point. So we need to set it individually now. Central line with 16 point. So new style. Select H1 only. And the font is central line. So go to block alignment you can see text alignment here center again go back to font and the font size must be 16 point so you need to make sure it is point here pt the next style is h2 h2 should be fully justified with 12 point font so click on block, text align, justify and the size is 12 point. Next one is H3. Left align with 10 point. So alignment is left and phone size is 10 point. Next, set each table margin individually to 5% of the width and height of the browser window. So, we need to set it individually. So, new style. We have to select table here. Margin you can find in box. Here you can see margin. So we have to give individually, we have to set 5%. Give OK. So when you give this way, all the margins will be automatically set to 5% we need to give it individually. So let's do this way. Right click on table style, go to modify. It is automatically set to same for all. So I'll just give for one of them. Give OK. So it will come like margin top 5%. So let's edit it. I'll paste it three times. So margin top, bottom, left and right so that it is set individually next set all table cell padding to 10 pixel so table cell padding or table cell property is for the style td or table data so we have to give the table data style here go to new style and we have to select td so whenever table cell is property is asked we have to set that in td now the cell padding go to box we have the cell padding here that should be set to 10 pixel so you can give same for all and 10 pixel give ok so td is set now set all table borders and grid lines to be so some properties are given here visible separated solid black one pixel white now among this only uh, table border collapse property which is to be separate that is applicable only for table all others are applicable for table table as well as uh, since grid lines are there it is applicable for td also so border collapse property can be applied only to table style so we can give this in the table style 
so our table style is already here you can just right click on table go to modify style border collapse you can see in the table style go to table and then set it to separate give ok so that is added to the table style now the remaining styles all are applicable for table as well as table cells so it should be given in both table as well as td so let's give that go to a new style we have to use table comma td table comma td now let's set the remaining styles all the table borders must be visible it will be visible when you give uh, the width and the solid line so you can set it as go to border in border you will give border style must be solid so set it to solid border width is one pixel and the color is black select black the hexadecimal code will be displayed here so all the properties are done now give ok so border settings will come in table as well as td since it's applicable for both now set the spaces between the borders of all table elements to 10 pixel now border spacing also can be applied only to table so we have to set it to table so again right click on table go to modify style border spacing you can find in table properties again table you can see border spacing it must be 10 pixel so 10 px give ok so border spacing is given correct and edit the comment at the start of the style sheet to contain your name center number and candidate number so in the beginning the comment was given wrong and we had deleted it let's give the comment at the start slash star give your name center number and candidate number then star slash this is how you give the comment there is a space before uh, after star and before star here save the style sheet in your folder so I'll save this take a screenshot to show the file name and all content of your style sheet and place this in your evidence document so we have to take a screenshot of the style sheet so let's take the screenshot when you are taking make sure the name of the style sheet is there so I'll take the screenshot line 28 that is your evidence too evidence too now let's take the remaining one from 29 can make sure it fits within the page so the contents are copied into the evidence document save your web page display your web page in the browser if necessary resize so that all the page can be seen so now we need to show the web page in the browser this is our web page open tbs in the browser
now we can resize it so click on restore and then resize this way so that it fits properly and all the text are completely clear if it's not fitting you can just go to zoom and then adjust accordingly so now the complete page is shown all the text are easily read and the uh, address bar is visible so let's take the screenshot This is evidence three. Next, take a copy of the HTML source and place this in your evidence document. So we have to take the copy of the code. So this is your page, TBS page. Go to the code and copy the code. So select all text, control A copy and paste it as evidence 4. So the code is pasted here. So we have the four evidence here, style sheet the folder, then the style sheet, then the image and the code HTML source. Then you need to print the evidence document. Next task is spreadsheet, which will be done in another video. You can check the description. Thank mm -hmm. you for now.